Hello, fourth grade students. The reason you're here is to answer these three questions. How do we multiply? How do we improve our math facts or our math facts skills? Ultimately, how do we skip count? If you're anything like me when I was a student, these three questions caused a lot of anxiety. In fact, my face normally when I saw these questions would look like this. A little scary, huh? Well, my goal with this video and these songs and a couple different strategies is to move your face from scared to calm, cool, collected, and I know all of my math facts, or I know a strategy that will help me get the answer correct on a math fact every single time. So without further delay, let's listen to some of the songs, and then we will connect it to our touch points. Let's start with Skip Counting by Three. And now, skip count by four. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, forty. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, forty. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, forty. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, forty. Now, let's skip count by six. Six. Moving on, let's skip count by seven. Seven, fourteen, twenty, one, twenty-eight, thirty-five, forty-two, forty-nine, fifty-six, sixty-three, seventy. Seven, fourteen, twenty, one, twenty-eight, thirty-five, forty-two. Forty-nine, fifty-six, sixty-three, seventy. Seven, fourteen, twenty, one, twenty-eight, thirty-five, forty-two. Forty-nine, fifty-six, sixty-three, seventy. Seven, fourteen, twenty, one, twenty-eight, thirty-five, forty-two. Forty-nine, fifty-six, sixty-three, seventy. Skip counting by seven. Now let's skip count by eight.
let's finish it up by skip counting by nine. Nine, There's another pattern that you may not be aware of that you should be aware of when skip counting by nines. If you're not exactly sure of the pattern, here it is. Skip counting by nines can be so easy if you follow this pattern. If you separate each of the digits from the ones and the tens in all of the numbers that you skip count by nine, you'll notice that in the tens, it is increasing by one each time, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in the ones, it is decreasing by one every single time, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then zero. In other words, nine times one gets you the nine, nine times two, 18, or you jumped up one and you subtracted one. That's one really cool pattern. The other thing that students like to use is what I like to call the finger trick or the hand trick. Let me show it to you because it will help you solve any nine times table. For example, if you have nine times two, all you have to use are your two hands. Now know which fingers you are counting with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is my tenth finger. So if I'm multiplying nine by two, I take my second finger, I tuck it in, and then I see how many tens I have, one ten, and how many ones I have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In other words, nine times two gave me an answer of one ten and eight ones, or eighteen. You may be thinking that's pretty cool. Does it work with every nine times table? Absolutely, let's do one more. What if I said nine times four? Spread your hands, put them out in front of you, and tuck in your fourth finger. One, two, three, four, tuck it in. How many tens do I have? 10, 20, 30, and how many ones? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Is nine times four 36? If you sing the song, you'll certainly get it. If you know the pattern, you will get 36. And if you use the finger trick, you will get 36. So use any one of these to help you solve your nine times tables. In connection with everything else, we've also taught the students some silly stories. These stories should help your students' memory when it comes to certain multiplication tables. For example, four times four. Initially, I look at that, and I have that same exact scared face that I showed you earlier. I'm not exactly sure right off the top of my head what four times four is. However, when I remember that Mr. Panza bought me this beautiful 4x4 four four truck and it's out in the school parking lot just waiting for me, but unfortunately I can't drive it because I'm a student in fourth grade and I have to be 16 years old to drive, that will help me remember that 4 times 4 is 16 because you have to be 16 years old to drive a 4x4. Four four. How about 6 times 6? Again, I see 6 times 6. And I get a little nervous because I'm not sure of the answer. All I have to remember is that when two sixes were traveling through the desert, the sun beat down on them, the sand was hot, they needed water, but there wasn't a pond for miles. Sweat poured off those two sixes, and they became thirsty sixes, or six times six equals 36. How about if two numbers went on a date, like six and eight? Six and eight went on a date, and they became 48. So any times you see six times eight, it equals 48. Or any time you see eight times six, it equals 48. Because six and eight went on a date, and they became 48. 
4, 8 times 7, that is absolutely a problem where I would look like this right here. And to be totally honest, without using any strategies, I wouldn't be able to tell you what 8 times 7 is or 7 times 8 is until I learned this trick. Use the number line. Whenever you see 7 times 8 or 8 times 9, just go back 2 on the number line and you'll notice the answer is 56. 7 times 8 equals 56. 8 times 7 equals 56. Another silly story that we help the students remember is this one, to remember 8 times 8. I ate and I ate until I fell on the floor because 8 times 8 is 64. This little kiddo ate and ate till he fell on the floor because 8 times 8 is 64. And one more silly story to help you remember 7 times 7. Currently, one of the most recognizable players in the National Football League is number 7 on the San Francisco 49ers, which helps us remember that 7 times 7 plays for the team, the 49ers, or 7 times 7 is 49. Using those songs and silly stories is just the first part in improving your multiplication math fact skills and learning how to skip count. In other words, learning how to go from this scared face to this calm, cool, collected face. Let's take a look at using touch points. This is an example of all of the touch points. One has one, two has two, three has three, four has four touch points, and five has five touch points. Six, seven, eight, and nine all either have double touch points like six, one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven has three double touch points and one single touch point. Keep in mind that in this video, if you're not sure where touch points are, rewind, pause, come back to the screen and recognize where the touch points are because using the songs and the touch points are surely going to help you multiply every single one digit by a one digit number. For example, let's take a look at these two problems right here. Initially, when I see 8 times 7, I look and I feel like this. However, when I remember that I can use my touch points and I can use the songs, I know that I can get this answer correct. So I know my 7 times table song and I know where my eight touch points are. I just have to touch those touch points as I sing the song and get my answer correct. 7, 14, 20, 128, 35, 42, 49, 56, and I have my answer. Same thing with seven times three. Maybe you do not like skip counting by seven, but you know the three times table song, and you know where the seven touch points are. Use the song to your advantage. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Now I'm done. I got my answer. It's 21. I just need to combine everything, and I will be able to multiply a one-digit number by a one-digit number every single time, which is really going to help you when you get to more difficult problems that ask you to do more than just a one-digit number by a one-digit number. So what we've been telling all of the students is to use your flexible math strategies. Use your touch points. Use the songs. Use the silly stories. Or if you just know the fact, use that too. Whatever it takes, you are trying to improve your multiplication skills, your math fact skills, and your skip counting skills so you can move from this face and delete it to ultimately becoming cool, calm, and collected whenever you see these questions. I hope this video helped. Feel free to watch it over and over again. Listen to the songs because it's the only way they're going to get stuck in your head and that you'll remember your facts from now for until ever. Have a great night.